Welcome to WARN, today's national news is. Russia made Su-30 MKI jets ensure India's air superiority over Asian rivals. The Indian Air Force's Su-30 MKI multi-role fighter jets have provided the country with superiority over any potential enemy in the region, Alexander Mykiev, the general director of Russia's state arms exporter Rosavaron Export, said Wednesday. The Indian Air Force's Su-30 MKI aircraft have ensured the country's superiority over any potential enemy in the region, Mykiev told reporters, within the framework of the Paris Air Show 2017, adding that at the moment New Delhi had put into service more than 240 aircraft. India continues production of new aircraft and has been maintaining the fighter jets from the first batches, Mykiev pointed out. The official added that Moscow and New Delhi had a significant potential to develop mutually beneficial cooperation almost in all issues related to military equipment and arms. The Sukhoi Su-30 MKI supermaneuverable fighter jet is a version of the Su-30 MK developed for India by Russia Sukhoi Aviation Corporation. The Indian Air Force has a fleet of these aircraft built under license by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. India invites Russian defense firms for joint manufacturing. Showcasing India's new policy initiatives to facilitate Thai UPS, Defense Minister Aaron Jaitley today invited Russian firms to come forward with proposals for technology transfer to Indian companies and facilitate joint manufacturing of advanced military platforms. Addressing the plenary of Technoprom 2017, a leading forum for technological development, Jaitley said Russian defense majors which already have a long experience of working in India are well placed to take advantage of the policy changes affected to encourage Thai UPS between Indian and foreign companies. The defense minister, who is in Russia on a three-day visit beginning today, said Indian companies are already gearing up by developing capabilities for design and development of military systems. I invite Russian companies to come forward with proposals for technology transfer to Indian companies and facilitate manufacturing of more advanced components slash parts and subsystems. This can start with platforms of Russian origin where the requirement is in large numbers and is recurring in nature, he said. We have initiated a series of policy and procedural changes to facilitate Thai UPS, including joint ventures and technology partnerships between Indian and foreign companies. Russian companies, which already have a long experience of working in India and working with India are well placed to take a leading role in this process, he said. In a major step towards defense indigenization, the Indian government last month unveiled a strategic partnership model under which select private firms will be engaged along with foreign entities to build military platforms like fighter jets, submarines and battle tanks. In the days to come, we hope to fully harness the energies, entrepreneurial spirit and enterprise of the private sector in the area of defense manufacturing. Here again, Russia as India's largest, oldest, and most trusted partner in defense hardware and equipment, would have a comparative advantage in partnering with Indian companies for realizing make in India potential in defense production, Jaitley said. Boost for Defense Indian Army begins field trials of M777 howitzer guns. Indian Army has started field trials of the M777 howitzer guns that it is acquiring from B Systems. According to Ani, the Indian Army has begun the field trials at the Pakran range of Rajasthan's Jais Almer district. The M777 howitzer guns will be a formidable addition to the Indian Army's arsenal. According to PTI, the M777 howitzers would be deployed along the India-China border. It would be used by the new Mountain Strike Corps being raised in Panagar, West Bengal. The acquisition of these howitzers also assumes significance because this is the first such deal after the infamous Beaufort scandal of the 1980s. Talking about the importance of the M777 deal, Ankur Gupta, Vice President Aerospace and Defense at Ernst Young India had earlier told FE Online, this is the first major artillery procurement that has successfully been completed in over three decades. Coupled with the previously signed Chinook contract, our force preparedness levels in the eastern sector will be significantly enhanced over the coming decade. According to the Indian Express, these guns have been designed for firing Indian ammunition in Indian conditions. The M777 howitzer is a 155mm 39 caliber towed gun. It is portable by sea, air, and land. For India, this means that the system can be deployed with greater ease. This especially fits well with the Indian Army's acquisition of the Chinook helicopter, which can easily airlift the M777. The gun has a maximum unassisted range of 24.7 km and an assisted range of 30 plus km. Reliance Defense Corners offset contracts worth 21000 crore on Rafale deal. 
even as Bell, Bharat Dynamics Ltd, Samdal and other defense companies, are readying to get a slice of the estimated 30000 crore Rafaeli offset contract, Reliance Defense has already walked away with a major chunk of the deal. The Rafaeli offset contract is India's biggest ever. With two joint ventures in a row related to the $8.8 billion Rafaeli aircraft, Anil Ambani's Reliance Group is looking to target business worth 21000 crore as part of the offsets. Last year, Reliance Aerostructure had entered into a 51-49 joint venture with Dassault Aviation. The new JV with Thales will help the Indian major execute Thales offset obligation amounting to $1 billion. The Thales JV capital is under discussion. Both Thales and Reliance Defence refused comment on the investment. Sources indicated that there were several initiatives planned between both the companies to ramp up the JV capabilities. These included identifying and qualifying for the Indian defence supply chain, as also incorporating training and development of human capital. Private companies can now tie up with banned foreign vendors to make ammo for army. India has given the go-ahead to private domestic companies to tie up with foreign vendors that have been banned for corrupt practices in the past to manufacture ammunition for the army. This major policy shift will allow banned entities such as IMI, Singapore Technologies and Rheinmetall to join private companies as technology partners to get a slice of India's lucrative ammunition market, which is among the largest in the world. A series of seven tenders have been issued by the Defence Ministry for Ammunition for Tanks and Howitzers to anti-aircraft guns, with bids being invited to supply the items for the next 10 years. While private companies are now scrambling to tie up with foreign vendors to procure technology, an unusual clause inserted in each tender has raised eyebrows. Although the Defence Ministry is empowered to extract heavy penalties from foreign entities accused of wrongdoing in exchange for continuing to bid for Indian contracts, the clause will circumvent the ban. The bidder shall be free to enter into a transfer of technology agreement with a company that has been banned in past or is currently under ban for dealings with Government of India as the government does not envisage dealing directly with such a company in this project, the special clause says. India, Russia to soon set delivery date for S-400 missile air defense systems. Russia and India will soon conclude the final contract for the delivery of five regiments of Russian-made S-400 Triumph Advanced Air Defense Systems, NATO reporting name, SA-21 Growler, according to a senior Russian defense industry official. The head of Russian arms exporter Rosavaron Export, Alexander Mikhaev, told TASS news agency on the sidelines of the L.E. Bauerget International Aerospace Show on June 21 that the signing of a final contract is imminent. Rosavaron Export is carrying out pre-contractual work with Indian partners. We are discussing the technical issues of the deliveries. I can assure you that both our company and the Indian side are set to sign the contract soon, the chief executive officer said. As I reported previously, see, India and Russia Inc. S-400 missile air defense system deal, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Russian President Vladimir Putin signed an intergovernmental agreement for the procurement of five regiments of S-400S in October 2016 during the 8th BRICS summit. India will be the second country after China, which ordered six S-400 battalions in 2014, to receive one of Russia's most advanced air defense systems. China is expected to receive the first S-400 units in 2018. Russia may help India to train astronauts for manned space mission, Deputy PM says. Russia may help India to train its astronauts in the future, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin said on Wednesday. In prospect, it is possible to train Indian astronauts on the basis of our center of Roscosmos, Rogozin told the meeting of a bilateral high-level commission for cooperation in advanced technologies for military and civilian purposes. Rogozin also said he informed India's finance minister, Minister of Defense and Minister of Corporate Affairs Aaron Jaitley about the prospects of Russia's manned spacecraft and the development of the International Space Station, ISS. But we should see the prospect after 2024, Rogozin said. I believe we could discuss cooperation between Russia and India in this area as part of the commission. He explained that it is also possible to gain profit due to creating new generation spacecraft for the Earth's remote sensing, navigation, communications and researches of the far space. The Deputy Prime Minister noted that India has made serious headway in this area and Russia is carefully watching the success of its Indian partners. We believe it's time for a more large-scale cooperation in this area, he stressed. Pakistan downing Iran drone will not enable India to drive wedge, Chinese expert. India will not succeed in driving a wedge between Iran and Pakistan by hyping the $50 billion China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, 
a Chinese expert said, days after Pakistan shot down an Iranian spy drone. An Iranian drone allegedly on a spying mission was shot down by a Chinese-made PAFJF-17 Thunder fighter jet in Baluchistan's Panjagur area on June 19. Pakistani Foreign Office told media that the Iranian drone was shot down by a JF-17 after it ventured deep inside Pakistani airspace on a spying mission. China is concerned about deterioration of ties between Iran and Pakistan as it apprehends that it will affect the PECTS minus 4.45% which connects Gwadar port in Balochistan near Iranian border with China's Xinjiang. Reliance Defense delivers 73,500 DWT new built ICE class Panamax bulk carrier to international customer. Shipbuilding and Repair Infrastructure Major Reliance Defense and Engineering Limited, RDEL, on Thursday said it has built and delivered an ICE class Panamax bulk carrier Golden Opal to an international customer. According to RDEL, it successfully delivered the 73,500 DWT, deadweight tonnage, bulk carrier on June 21, 2017, to one of the largest international shipping companies. Reliance Shipyard has delivered till date eight similar size, ICE class Panamax vessels to its international customers, the company said in a statement. The vessel has been built as per one of the best in class international standards, meeting the toughest environmental emission norms as well as fuel economy EEDI, standards. RDEL said that these are the largest dry bulk carriers of its class ever built in India. RDEL is the only Indian shipyard to achieve this landmark, the statement said. Reliance Shipyard with the largest dry dock of the country has successfully mastered the block construction technique through unique modular construction technology for building large ships for both commercial usage and navy. The company added that its shipyard meets the latest performance standards for protective coating, PSPC, which ensures most advanced painting solution protecting the marine life while increasing the life to the vessel.